I just want to quickly show you on a Victron system um, some of the meters you might use to monitor either your solar or your grid supply. Um, there is an option on the Victron MultiPlus where you can plug in the CT comp directly to the MultiPlus. Um, but that only gives you limited information. And so what's the preferred method um, on Victron is to use something like the ET112, it's actually upside down on this um, meter, as a grid meter. And that gives a much more reliable reading um, as it's actually wired through uh, rather than just a CT clamp, so through a Victron system. And that um, actually talks directly through this USB cable, which is an RS-485 connection. The USB, so you can actually see two of the cables there. I'll just explain that in a bit more detail in a second. Um, so yeah, we're using that to measure all of the import and export um, in the Victron ecosystem, which then talks to that to the servo GX that I've just shown you. We've also got in here the ET340, which can be used as either a free phase meter, or in this case, I'm using it as an AC load meter because I want to measure various things like the EV charger, uh, our hot water demand, and also at some point I'm going to add the aircon circuit um, through there uh, and measure the aircon usage. And this will bring the data into the Victron ecosystem. We've also got uh, one of our existing solar arrays and then solar inverter, which is then monitored by another ET112 in there. So that is measuring all the solar generation from that solar array. These all then connect to the servo GX as I've just shown you uh, via the USB leads. Um, now, there's, as you saw, there was three meters there and I've only actually got two leads plugged in. Because it's RS485, you can actually daisy chain the meters. Now, doesn't actually show you that term specifically in the Victron manuals, um, but when you dig deeper into the manufacturer of the meters, which is Carlo Iazzi, however you pronounce it, um, they actually give you some guidance and there's a bit of software that allows you to program these meters. So what you can actually do is change the Modbus ID on these meters. So in this instance, what I've done is run one cable up to these two meters. Um, and then I've individually connected them and then reprogrammed the software. So this has a different ID to this meter, which then means you can daisy chain these meters. You could you could do that with a number of meters, but in this instance, I've decided just to reprogram one of them and link them through one cable and then use the solar meter for another cable because they're in a different board. It just seemed an easier way to do that. Um, there are other meters available. Um, Victron have just done a new new model meter, and that actually is using CT clamps as well. Uh, and that supposedly has a uh, much faster uh, response time for measuring grid than solar CT. Um, but as you can see, our solar meter is showing the uh, reading from all that solar array there. Our grid meter is showing this reading here and then the AC loads are deeper into the Victron uh, reporting so I can go on the Victron BRM and look at what the EV charger is using, what the hot water is used uh, and then as a, the aircon to that I'll be able to then see what the aircon is using but yeah just thought I'd sh quickly show you some of the meters um, they can as I said the 340 can be used in the free phase setup so if you've got a free phase supply you could use that as your grid meter for a fee supply because it's got uh, three inputs 